Hello and welcome to episode 43 of my Working with Evernote series. In this episode, I want to show you how to create an offline notebook. Now, the question you may have is why would you want to create an offline notebook? Well, the reason you may want to create an offline notebook is for all those pieces of sensitive data and personal information that you're just a little bit nervous about having online. Now, a few people I know are, have become a little bit worried about Evernote's recent changes to its user agreements where it says that they have access or can have access to your notes. Well, if you're one of those people who are worried about that kind of security and not really comfortable knowing that Evernote staff can access your notes, then the offline notebook is probably the way forward for you. Now, the only thing to keep in mind with the offline notebook is, is that if your offline notebook is on your desktop computer in your home, then just keep in mind that that note and that notebook is not going to be accessible on all your other devices. It is only going to be accessible on the device you choose to set it up and it's going to be local, so it's going to be stored on your own individual hard drive, it will not be available for syncing and it will not be available uh, for reading on your cell phone or your, or your laptop or whatever. So just keep that one in mind. But if you are very, very concerned about security and, and the personal information of your notes, then please, uh, this is going to be the way forward for you because you can create these offline notebooks, these local notebooks, that means that you can keep all your personal private data in there and you know that nobody else is going to have access to it unless obviously they have access to your computer. So let's go into Evernote and I'll show you how to set this up so that you can also have a very secure notebook that's not available online and therefore nobody apart from yourself can watch or read what you have in there. Okay, so let's have a look. Right, so now that we're in Evernote, what I want to do is I want to show you how to do this. Now, a lot of people get a little bit confused about this simply because of the way that this works. If you click on Add New Notebook, you're going to find that uh, this notebook is private and people might think, OK, this is the way it's going to be. So test one and we create the notebook. Now, the thing is, this notebook is not local. As you'll notice here, um, when you go into the settings, hang on, I did that a little bit fast. If you go into the settings, like here against your notebook, what you'll see is notebook type local or synchronized notebook. You cannot change the notebook type once the notebook has been created. So now this is uh, going to be very difficult to do. So let's uh, delete that notebook. By the way, to delete a notebook is actually quite simple. Just go control click and then you have all these options here and now we can delete this notebook. So let's delete this because that is not the way that you can actually create this type of notebook. To create an offline notebook, what you need to do is go into File and New Notebook and you'll see here New Local Notebook or Local Notebook. Click on that and then you can put in Personal, uh, Personal and Private. Uh, private and there we go so this now is a private notebook there is nothing I can do to uh, change that and I can add things in there and whatever I add into that notebook it is going to stay only on this local hard drive which in this case is my laptop um, as you'll notice if I go on to this one like recipes uh, and I click on that, I have a lot of options to see this, it's all synchronized, but if I go into my private one, there's nothing there. That's really the only indication that I have that this is a private. I can control click it, and again, I can publish the notebook, which obviously if it's private, I don't want to do that. But here, I can't change this uh, into any other way. Um, it is now a private notebook and this is where you would keep your private personal data that you do not want to share with anybody else and I just wanted to give you that uh, option for those people who are a little bit worried about having their private information or their personal information up there in the cloud where it might get 
read by uh, an Evernote employee. Personally, I don't really think they're going to be doing that. But for those of you who are concerned about that sort of thing, then that is the way forward. So just to recap that for you, to create the new offline notebook, go into File under New Notebook and click on the Local Notebook. These do not sync with your uh, Evernote account. So this would not be shown on my no mobile phone, it would not be on my uh, iPad and it would not be on my desktop computer. Personally, I don't actually have any local notebooks, but if I do ever want feel start feeling a little bit concerned about privacy, about some issues, then yeah, I would start using that and I would create a personal and private notebook for all those pieces of information that I don't want other people reading. Okay, hopefully you found this episode useful. Uh, if you have any um, ideas for episodes in the future or you'd like me to cover anything, please leave a comment in the comment section below. And for that rest of you, or for all of you, I wish you all a very, very productive week and I will see you in the next episode.